Hey everyone. Took me a while to find this place. Looks totally different in the summertime. On this dirt road in the early winter time, it was covered in a sheet of ice, but I couldn't see it because there was like five inches of snow on top of it. And I was the first vehicle down it on that day. For miles behind me, the road was perfect, but here I just could not stop the vehicle at about 15 miles an hour, slid off the road right here, getting stuck. There was no mechanical damage, just damage to the front bumper. So this is what I did. I slid sideways going around this corner about 15 miles an hour, bumped this tree, putting a dent in the back door. That tree bumped me back out into the road around this one. And then I got stuck on top of this embankment. Look at that. You can even see my tire tread. One of my tires, you can see, went up here. Got stuck right there. That's probably from me spinning the wheel trying to get off this hump. The other wheel was right here. You can see the damage that I caused. This is the front bumper up here. Caused that damage to the tree. It'll repair itself really quickly from that. But you know, today with the plastic bumpers, it caused a, it looked like a lot of damage, but nothing serious. Just um, it punctured the windshield wiper tank, and the radiator wasn't leaking. But at first, the tire was here. I thought if I moved, there was a giant rock here. Remember, the ground was frozen, so I had to chisel around it for quite a while. Finally, got the rock out. They graded this road since. The big rock is right here. I thought getting that out of the way would free the vehicle so I could back up. But no. This was touching the underside of the vehicle, like holding the wheels off the ground just enough so I couldn't get the traction. This, I went under there and tried to cut it with a machete. That's what some of those marks are. I actually scraped myself up getting under there, like in a hurry, trying to cut that out of the way. It was unsuccessful. Absolutely no signal on my working phone. Luckily, I had a second phone that I use as a dash camera. It was disconnected, but it had one bar, allowing me to call emergency numbers. So I called 911 asking if they could send a tow truck out here. And that job would have been free, but I paid for it out of pocket. It was like 300 bucks because in long term, I would have paid more money if I told the insurance company, which has towing included. I didn't have to be towed out of here. The guy just gave me a little nudge. Then I had to follow him back to his yard because I couldn't take a credit card out here and I didn't have $300 in cash. So the guy took my wallet in case I tried to run away and I followed him back to the shop. Like, yeah, I didn't tell the insurance company about the smashed bumper because I would have paid more over time than it actually cost to get fixed, if that makes sense. So, as soon as I got out of here, I was able to drive away with no mechanical problems, nothing like that. Frame wasn't bent, just minor damage. And I told the body shop, I don't really care how it looks, just get it off a junkyard vehicle and make it look good at a good price. Now, before the police dispatched a tow truck driver, now, that day, because it was a snowstorm, they had a lot of other calls, that, and I told them I wasn't hurt, so it took them three hours to get out here, because, you know, it wasn't prioritized. They had other stuff to do first, and I asked them, are there any cops in the area? Because this isn't, like, deep, with some of the places I go that are, like, 50 miles off-road. No, this is, like, exactly seven miles away from the nearest road. I was wondering if one of the cops could come out here and just give me a nudge with a chain or something attached to the back tow hook. But they said they can't do that, and I was I was really surprised what they said. They said all the state troopers in this area would never be able to get up this road in the winter because they have two-wheel drive Dodge Chargers, which I think is a stupid choice when you're up in the northern New England states. Most of the towns up here have a Ford Explorer at the very least, which is horrible on the would be horrible on these roads in the winter time most of the police departments up here you see they have bigger vehicles like a suburban a tahoe expedition some of them have forerunners or a pickup truck big stuff so they can drive through a foot of snow without any issue 
because a shorter vehicle like an Explorer is kind of just going to push it out of the way. You know, it's going to push it, makes a big mound, and you'll come to a halt. Dodge Charger's fine if they stay on the state highways, but up here, during a snowstorm, they're basically useless if they have to respond to a call. And that's the reason why I don't buy street tires anymore. I get ones that are, look more like Jeep tires, because I don't think this would have happened then. Because the tires I had when this happened didn't have any sideways treads. They were more for getting rain out of the way on a smooth road. Wasn't really meant for getting traction on ice. Well, it's the first time I was able to find this. I've been looking for it for a while. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.